Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. It is Friday, it is January 25th, and it's Scott and I's six year anniversary, which is crazy. Six years flew by, and we're gonna be going out to dinner later, but we're not doing anything crazy for celebrations just because we have a vacation coming up. So that is like our main event, and that's like us going to celebrate every single day. But I thought it was really exciting, so I just wanted to share that with you. I'm getting ready for work. I actually have to leave in like 10 minutes, but I did get my sun bath basket subscription in the mail so sun basket is a meal delivery kit service and you get fresh organic ingredients sent to you you can get it sent to you weekly to create those meals puffin are you serious you got the santa wow that's crazy okay so i'm going to unbox this with you guys and show you the ingredients and then throughout the weekend scott and i are going to be cooking and making these meals together so I will link this company down below. So the first thing you get in here is a pamphlet and it just says Sun Basket week of January 21st. So they have different meals every single week and then they have the ingredients in here and how to make the meals. Ooh, this one looks really good. Thai steak Penang curry with jasmine rice. That looks yummy. Sorry the lighting is wonky. The sun is rising. That's how early we're filming right now. Okay, I got Organic Girl I Love Baby Kale, a superfood salad mix with baby kale. So we got this. We're either going to make a salad with this or put this in our smoothies. Then we have avocado. This is avocado hummus. And Scott actually dipped into this last night because he loves avocado. I don't, but he does. So I basically got this for him. And he already dipped into it with a chip because he couldn't help himself. It does smell really good. I just don't personally like it. Then we have rainbow baby carrots these are organic as well so i've never had organic rainbow carrots then we have all of the meals so all the meals are in these brown paper bags so this first one is roasted chicken breast and winter vegetables with romesco so this is what it looks like it's just in a brown paper bag which i actually really like then we have organic kale caesar salad so you can get like these sides and like add-ons Ooh, that smells good, doesn't it? Then we have, ooh, Moroccan salmon in Traim sauce with cauliflower couscous. So there's that one. Does that smell yummy? Huh? You excited? That's actually mummy and daddy's. And then we have chicken piccata with penne and kale. This one, I bet, is going to be so yummy. So those are the meals. And then at the very bottom to keep extra like fresh. It's right on an ice, ice pack. We have the chicken press, press. We have the chicken breast, no antibiotics used, no hormones. So we got chicken breast and then we have Keita salmon. So I'm gonna stick all of this in the fridge right now, but I will link this company down below and we're gonna be cooking together all weekend. And we're gonna be celebrating. We're gonna be going to Victoria's Secret because I want some new underwear. And I also want to go to Target and check out the Valentine's Day section. So that is the plan. I will talk to you guys in a little All bit. Right. I haven't been in Victoria's Secret for a long time. I would say like five months. So I'm finally here and there's nobody here. It's been so long since I've been in here. This is the cutest. This place is dangerous for me. That's why I can't come in here that often. They've got the cute heart bras. I really like this one. It's just light pink and this is Victoria's Secret. I've got some underwear here, but I don't. I only have three pairs. I'm gonna do the five for 28, which I thought they were 10 for 35, but I'll get these for the now. Cutest shorts ever. They're suede. I love these so much. They're like light pink, and then they have them in gray too with a matching top. I really love this, and they're $35 for the shorts. I haven't purchased anything for working out in such a long time, but I am obsessed with these clothes. Look at this sports bra light pink and gray and beautiful there's this one too that I really love and I even love this shirt to go over it I think that's so cute I feel like this would give me the perfect motivation to work out are you kidding I need this I love the light pink super cute I really love this to like travel with but I don't need another one of these right now but it is really pretty I love the color of this one I got the goods I only got underwear and I feel good <laughs> I don't know who you think you are leaving a camera around me. I literally saw this and I thought it said, 
it's a girl and it was your sick way of telling me that you are pregnant oh now that i have the camera Hi guys, today is Saturday and I wanted to show you the underwear that I got. So I just got the five pairs. I got Valentine's Day ones. I got these, sparkly band. This is like the most comfortable pair, I think. So I got three of them. And then I got this one as well. So I just did the five for 28. And then I got these beautiful roses. Don't these smell good, Teddy? Ooh, they smell nice. I got these roses from Scott for our anniversary yesterday and then we went out to dinner but I didn't end up vlogging. But today we're gonna go to Target so I will see you guys in a minute. I wanna check out the Valentine's Day section and we need to get a couple of essentials as well. So we made it to Target. They have a lot of cute things in the dollar section. They have this sign that says, let's get cozy. And I really like these. And then they have candles and little plates right here. These are super cute white winter days that melt into spring we just got coffee at starbucks also and i realized that the other place i was going was charging me almost two dollars more for the same exact thing so i'm only gonna go to target yeah the target ones charge you less than like a regular starbucks just so you're gonna get these measuring spoons because they're marble and rose gold and they're only three dollars i think these are really really cute i'm gonna get these just feel like we need them and then also they have these little books, Beauty and Health, Natural Recipes for a More Beautiful You, and then Mind these and Socks are so cute. These are $4, Valentine's Day socks. And I don't have too many like high pairs of socks, so I think I'm gonna get this as well. Scott's looking at the clothes for him. This cart has a mind of its own. It keeps on going ways that I don't put it. Babe, you need another pair of sunglasses like I need more makeup. These are actually really cute. They're little containers, Pyrex, for like bringing your food with you, but they're Valentine's Day themed. I like these a lot, but they're kind of expensive, $8 and $6, but they are really cute. What do you need that for the plane? I need that for a plane. I actually need some heavy drugs for the plane ride this time, because <laughs> I don't do planes. Is it open? That's what she said. Giant dog cards. Oh my god, I would die, babe, if I got this one. That's the cutest. Some of them are kind of scary. Valentine's Day right around the corner. Right after our anniversary. Isn't it a great time? Oh, there you go. How's that one? That one looks a little bit more secure. There's a whole section of Reese's. Are you kidding? How do they know this is my favorite chocolate? I've never seen these before. Yeah, like giant ones? I haven't either. Ooh, look, a lover's collection. Ooh, you love your Cheez-Its. Ooh, I love my Oreos. <gasps> Muddy Buddies. Wow. Damn, they make Valentine's Day everything. Well, it's a good day. Mixed fruit, everything's just so cute. Fruit roll-ups. Ooh, Starburst, only the pink ones? No way. Worst flavor. Babe, that's the best flavor. Found some candles and they came out with these spring candles. This one's called Sweet Pea. It smells really good actually. I like this one a lot. And they have Blooming Aura. This one I haven't smelled yet. Goddess Petal. Ooh, Emerald Amazon. All the packaging is really pretty. Do you want to smell the sweets? Mr. Tapper over here. Let me smell. Kiwi. Oh, I'm allergic. What is it? I don't know. Hand me one, I'll smell it. I'll tell you what, what it is without reading it. Okay, smell that. Fresh air. Pretty close, actually. Wild sage. Kind of close. Right, give me another one. Okay. There's two key notes into th in this one. What are they? Uh, <clears throat> Let's 
sandalwood, and Some sort of wood. Well, you already said that. Yeah, so, wood. what are the what's the other note? Vanilla. Wow, I'm actually really impressed. Vanilla oak. Close. Wow, <clears throat> pretty skill. The Valentine's Day mugs. This is so cute. This little set. One says crazy, and the other one says in love. It's ten dollars for two, and then this one says weirdo and weirdest. Which I also really I like. have been wanting this. You actually just use the protein pancake mix in that. Exactly, a mini waffle maker. It's ten dollars. I've been wanting this. I've been wanting this. Like, I, just get a real one. That is a real one. It's just mini. It's even cuter. <gasps> wow, I'm so happy. It was the only one down there. I don't even think it was supposed to be there. This mug is also really cute. Kindness, but wow, I'm so excited for that waffle maker. Let's see if there's any more. Like maybe like a heart shaped one. I'll make you some. We gotta get cinnamon. Cinnamon and waffles. Oh. All right, we let's find more. They also have it in pink, which I really wanna get, but the mint one matches our Keurig, so I'm just gonna get the mint one. But they have it in pink and red, and then they have an so egg holder or cooker. Oh, but this is so cute. This is definitely a bigger one, but this is so cute. And it's only $10. This one rolls so you can dump it out. Oh, I don't know. There's just something about the cuteness of this. We are back home now. I only got a few things at Target, so I'll show you guys. I didn't get anything for the baby. I'm so sorry. There's nothing in there. Teddy, there's nothing. It's nothing, baby. Hey, hey, hey. It's just for mummy. I'm so sorry. Okay, so I got the Kodiak cakes, power cakes. I always get these. I always usually make pancakes. Be careful. Um, but I got that waffle maker. <gasps> no! Those are mummy's socks. This is mummy's. Excuse you, Teddy. You need to let go. <laughs> Teddy! <laughs> Babe, look what he has. The new sock? Yeah, those are mummy's. That's not yours, baby. Did he just grab those? Yeah. He grabs that out of my hand from the bag. <laughs> Teddy, excuse me. You think this is funny? Teddy. <laughs> okay. Well, I got those cute socks. And then we got toilet paper and cinnamon, because cinnamon always makes waffles or pancakes taste even better. But isn't this so cute? This was only $10, and I've been wanting a waffle maker. Even though it's tiny, I, I still think it's cute. So that's what I got at Target. We're going to start cooking soon with the Sun Basket meals. So I'm going to set everything up and I will show you guys what we're going to make. I think we're going to make the chicken piccata penne okay, today. So for lunch today, we're going to make the chicken piccata with penne and kale. This is from Sun Basket and it shows all of the steps on how to make it and it takes 20 minutes. So we're going to be making this. It looks really yummy. We have all of the ingredients right here. So chicken broth, lemon juice. We have the flour. Um, we have the zest, garlic, capers, which I don't like capers, parmesan, organic kale, and then the penne right here. Cilantro. And cilantro. Uh, no, um, parsley. Parsley. So, and then we, we're going to put the chicken in. So this is the meal we're making today for lunch. We're going to make another meal for dinner. We're probably going to make the salmon, but right now we're going to make the chicken piccata, which sounds really good right now. Yep. And garlic. The capers. No garlic. Yuck, I really don't want capers. It smells like pickles. We just made the broth and now we're gonna add in the kale first. And then we're going to add in the chicken and the penne and mix it all together. And then we need that penne and half of the Parmesan. So. It looks good. Mm -hmm. you want me to penne? Yes, please. Kind of 
a weird color. That's because it's organic and brown, I think. <laughs> it's definitely brown. <laughs> we do need a bigger pan. All right. Get it all. You want to add the Parmesan? So we just finished making the lunch. This is the chicken piccata penne. It looks really good. So it was pretty easy to make too. It only took like 20 to 25 minutes. Yeah. And this is what it looks like. So I'm also gonna link this company down below and I have a 50% off coupon code as well. But we're gonna have this and then we're gonna make salmon. Hi guys, we are at the gym. <coughs> I was just on the treadmill. And I'm doing the 30 day squat challenge. So today I did 180 squats. And that was pretty tough, but I feel like it's kind of getting easier for me. I remember day one and I think I did 50 and it, that was really hard. So today, <coughs> I think it was day 21, I think. And I did 180, but now we're at the gym. I'm a little out of breath. But we have less than three months till our vacation, so trying to kick it into the highest gear possible. So I think I'm just gonna do arms, because I haven't done arms in a really long time. And maybe some jump rope for the rest of my time here. And then we're gonna make our dinner, which will be the salmon. So that's the plan. Spots in the treadmill. So I just got back from the gym. I'm about to take a shower. I just washed my face and I used the Belief Creamy Cleansing Foam Moist. This is for normal to dry skin. So I just use this. I like this cleanser because it doesn't strip my skin and it feels very moisturized. So I use this and I'm gonna go in with a mask. I like to do this mask maybe twice a week. So this is the Summer Fridays Overtime Mask and it's good for exfoliation. My forehead and like pretty much my whole face in general has been kind of in rough shape recently. Just like a lot of congestion and a lot of texture on my forehead. So I'm gonna use this mask and then I'm gonna take a shower and then we're gonna make dinner. I'm in my sports bra right now and I feel like I'm gaining a little bit of muscle in my arms but I still feel a little like chubby so I have a long ways to go and not that much time to do it but hopefully I can do it all right I'm gonna get in the shower wash my hair get in my comfy robe and then cook dinner okay, so we're gonna make dinner now and we're making the Moroccan salmon in creme sauce with cauliflower couscous this is going to take 25 to 40 minutes it is gluten-free dairy-free soy-free Mediterranean gluten-free all that stuff this is what the picture looks like right here so it's gonna take a bit longer but it does have detailed instructions on how to make it and then we have all the ingredients right here so we have the organic Italian parsley organic tomato paste organic diced tomato and onion the creme spice blend which I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right actually I've, we're pretty sure we're not but. yeah we don't really know how to say that so let me know in the comments down below if you know how to say that um, and then we have the cauliflower right here and some Garlic. Yep. Garlic. Yeah, yes. <laughs> An exotic one that Sadie doesn't really. <laughs> I don't like garlic, but you know. Well, it's in everything we eat yeah. when we're cooking. So. Well, we're experimenting here. And then we're going to have um, get the salmon out. So we're going to be cooking this and eating this for dinner. It's very healthy. And let me see if it says the calories on here, actually. The oh, and the lemon. And it has 470 calories per serving and it serves two. So we're gonna be making this for a late dinner. It's like 7.30. So we're gonna make this and then eat it. Nestle. Yep, you nestle, skin side up. And then you're gonna bring that to a simmer until the sauce is thickened. Okay, so this is the completed dinner. We've got salmon and then the couscous down below, which is the cauliflower. There wasn't too much cauliflower, but there's a decent amount of salmon and we have parsley on top with the lemon wedges on the side. So we're gonna eat this so for the dinner. We're gonna have the rainbow carrots. These are organic. And then we're gonna have the organic avocado hummus. So this will be our snack to go along with our meal. I think I'm actually gonna end my vlog now. So I'm going to link Sunbasket down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I think it was on the longer side, so hopefully you guys like that. And I will see you guys in a few days.